Okay, welcome to our sixth video in our series, So You Want to Be a Computer Technician. In each video, as you probably know by now, if you've been watching them through in order, and I recommend that you do, so if you haven't, I recommend you start at the beginning. This one, we're going to talk about some of the some of the tools and skill sets that you're going to need uh, to actually get the work done. We've talked a lot about personality and a lot about the drive that it takes and all those different things, the stick determination, people skills. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk specifically about a couple of tools you're going to need, and these are mostly software tools. One is you need to understand what the current hot to trot tools are. Like today, Combo, Combo Fix and Smith Fraud are great tools for getting rid of a lot of the rogue installers that are plugging people's PCs coming in through software downloads, coming in through especially through illegal music downloads, even through email, and especially through the web. A lot of these things are getting past just about any antivirus right now, which is very, very frustrating when you're trying to protect your customer. So you're going to need tools like Smith Fraud Fix, S-M-I-T-F-R-A-U-D-F-I-X. You're going to need tools like Combo Fix. But the thing is, at just as fast as these tools become hot to trot, they usually become abandoned software and they don't get updated anymore. Smith Fraud, Combo Fix are pretty good at the moment. But there's other tools out there like Dial A Fix, which has been great for XP and is lousy for Windows Vista and Windows 7. They haven't updated it in quite a while as of the posting of this video. That may have changed. Um, there's also other tools like Windsock Fix, which is great for fixing several kinds of Windsock problems related to your internet connection. If you don't know what those are, you need to Google it and learn about Wins. Uh, sock fix rather and problems related. LSP fix is another tool that has worked great in the past especially with Windows XP but not so much anymore. So there are other tools out there that are coming up that you need to know about. So you need to do a lot of web searches again as I mentioned in one of the other videos you need to get into forums for geeks and learn what's out there you're going to get disrespected a lot for asking questions, but you know what? For every for every ten dorks there are out there that are that are, are pretending to know everything, there's one who really does and isn't going to be arrogant about sharing his information. So those are great tools that you need. Um, again, get out there, find out what's hot, search those forums, search those websites, find out what's fixing the latest viruses now. Um, you need to do your own studies on what the best antivirus is. I've actually done those myself and I'll talk to you a little bit in future videos about how I did those. You'll find your favorite product. Don't pick it just because you know how to use it. Just because you're familiar with it doesn't make it the best tool. Sometimes a tool that doesn't get the best ratings will actually do the best job with a little customization of the settings. Uh, so you can actually make that product into the best just by selecting a few odds and ends. Finally, in this video, one of the things we do in every video is talk about a book, a book like um, like Scott Mueller's uh, Upgrading and Repairing PCs. This happens to be the 19th edition, which I believe is current uh, as of the early part of 2011 is the newest edition. If you don't know computer repair, you need to learn the basics. Don't be ashamed. You don't necessarily need all, all of your A-plus certifications and all that gobbledygook, but you do need the drive and the willingness to learn. We talk about in other uh, in other uh, videos previous to this about the fact that you're almost going to school part-time, almost going to college part-time just to do your job. That's very true. Uh, so, upgrading and repairing PCs. Check out the link on the video down below in the description below the video that you are watching now. You'll see a link directly to the book. I can save you a lot of money on it and some time finding it. You can get it for $23.49 currently on Amazon instead of 50 bucks if you buy it in a store. Uh, so, check that out. I can save you some time looking for it. Have a great day. Get out there and take care of that customer. Bye.